Today we will be working with Google Pages. The first thing you need to do is open an internet browser such as Firefox or Internet Explorer. Next, go to www.googlepages.com. This will present you with a login and password prompt. This login and password will be the same as the login and passwords you use for Gmail. Once you've logged in, you will be presented with a page that presents you with a few options. The first thing you need to do is go to Site Settings on the right hand side. About midway down, there will be a button that says Enable Experimental Features. Click this and click Yes. Then click back to Site Manager. You will never have to do this again. Now, on the main page, there are two options. You can create a new page, or you can edit an existing page. Now, the existing page that is there on the first time you log in is your home page. This is the page that people will see when they are directed to your website. Now, you can click on that to edit it. Once it pops up, you can type in a title, subtitle, anything you want. I'm going to call my page LED 3300 and my page's subtitle is going to be Google Pages Info. Here I can type an article or a discussion or insert a picture or something like that. In this case I'm just going to type hello. And here's my page's footer in which I usually put the date or my name or both. Once I'm done, I can click publish. Now, once I've published, I can go to my website just by opening a new tab or window, going up to the address bar and typing in, do not type in www, type in your username, dot google pages, dot com. And that will present you with your page. Now as you can see here, it is not published yet, and the reason is because I have not refreshed. So all you have to do is go up here and click refresh, and all of my information shows up.